This is a video on systems of linear equations and in particular the elimination method. So remember that a system of equations is having two or more equations and a system of linear equations is having two or more linear equations and that solving that system means looking for the point where the two lines intersect or the set of coordinates that satisfy both equations simultaneously. One of the ways to solve is to isolate a variable and plug it in to the other equation. That is called substitution. There is another method which is called elimination, and it is one in which you have to line up the variables on the same side of the equation. So in this case, for instance, the x variable is on the left of the equal sign. This x is on the left of the equal sign. That's good. But this y is on the left and this y is on the right. So we have to fix that. Elimination method is one where we line up the variables we multiply one or more equations by uh, a constant such that one of the variables is eliminated when we add up the two equations. We eliminate it, meaning we add a positive and negative number of the same variable. Stay tuned. So first step is to make sure that the variables are lined up, that the x's and y's are on the same relative side of the equal sign. In this case, they aren't yet. The, the x's are both on the left-hand side, the constants are both on the right-hand side, but this y term is on the left and this y term is on the right. So how do we fix that? We've got to move one of them. So we could write this way. What I did from here to here was just take this 2y and move it to the other side of the equation like that. Cool. Now the variables are lined up. So next, what we have to do is take a look at the coefficients and see if there's an easy way to multiply one or both equations by something to get one of the variables to cancel out. By cancel out, uh, we mean that you have to have opposite coefficients. Like for instance, here a 3y, this one would have to be negative 3y. Or you could have a 10x and a negative 10x. In this particular case, because one of these has a negative already, I would probably just try to multiply these by something, this is already negative, to get these to be the same number. One way to do that, sorry, it says here, is to multiply by the other one's coefficient. Like if I wanted to get rid of the y's, because there are two here and three here, if I multiply this equation by two and this one by three, those would both give me the same number. And this three, I'd multiply by this equation. And this 2, I'd multiply by this equation. See, I know that by doing that, if I think a step ahead, I'm going to end up with 6y in this equation. And I would end up with negative 6y in this equation. That's going to work out well, because then when I add the two equations, 6y and negative 6y cancel each other out. So I'll expand, meaning I'll multiply everything in this equation by 2. The x term, the y term, and the constant this one everything by three and i'll write out with an arrow what my new equation is this is equivalent multiply both sides of the equation by the same thing but this equivalent version is better for me because now i have y terms that will cancel that will be eliminated next what i do in terms of the organization of my work is that i'll put a line a straight horizontal line as if i was adding all of these like term by like term i'll add up the x terms 10 and 12 is 22x. The y's cancel out. I don't even have to write them. Plus 6y minus 6y is 0y. I don't write them at all. And 30 plus 24 is 54. And when I solve, I divide, and I end up getting x is equal to 54 over 22, which simplifies to 27 over 11. Is it okay that that's a fraction, that it's not an integer? Sure, that happens sometimes. That's all right. And finally, this is one half of my answer. It's much more than one half of the work, but it's only one half of the answer because my answer, the solution to a system, is a point where the two lines intersect. And this is just the x-coordinate. What I would have to do to find my y-coordinate is take this x-value and plug it into one of these two original equations. So supposing I pick this one, if I plugged in my 27 over 11, <clears throat> and solved through, bring all the like terms together, this is what I would get. I would get that y is equal to one-third 
of 30 over 11, which is 10 over 11. That's my y value. And it should be that if I plug that into either one of these two, it should work out the same way. And in fact, it should be that if I plug that answer into both of these, they are satisfied. That means that they work. That means 5 times 27 over 11 plus 3 times 10 over 11 is equal to 15. And that 4 times 27 over 11 minus 2 times 10 over 11 is equal to 8. So if you want to try that out, you should find that that works. And that is the elimination method.